Today is Wednesday and that means it's time for another primitive technology project. In today's video, we're gonna recreate a knife that was used in the Stone Age in Texas. We're gonna make it out of flint. Now I've been going through this book, the 14th edition of the official Overstreet Indian Arrowheads Identification and Price Guide. There are thousands of different tools in here, arrowheads, knives, and one that caught my eye was on this page, page 714. Down here it says Kerrville Knife. It's a stone tool that was used in the late archaic period. It says they're found in Midwestern states and it's a large sized thick triangle cutting tool or chopping tool. Now what makes this unique is we're not gonna do a handle and haft it on with glue. This keeps the cortex on one side of the rock, the outer rind, that's a smooth part for your hand and then we make a chopping blade. Now hand axes in this style have been used all around the world for thousands and thousands of years. They have examples similar to this they found in Egypt, in France, and throughout the United States. What makes a Kerrville a little different is the blade is more finely worked. Here's the tools we're gonna to use to make this blade. We have our flint, I got this out of Texas. I got this off of eBay and they knocked off a corner so we can see what's inside. Now for flint napping tools, we're gonna to do percussion. I have a hammer stone and then three sizes of antler billet. We're gonna use that to work the blade. So let's set it up and get started. This part up here is smooth, it fits nicely in the hand. This will be our handle that's untouched. Down here, we'll flint nap our blade. To do that, I'm gonna use a hammer stone. I'm gonna start by removing really large flakes to get rid of that cortex and start shaping the blade. That is a really good start. We removed a lot of material. I can make more tools out of this. And now we're gonna work it from the other side. As far as a crude chopping tool, this is all you need. Just a few strikes and we have something that can work wood. We're gonna remove more flakes to shape the blade, but this is coming along nicely. The blade is starting to get thinner, so I'm gonna switch from a hammer stone to an antler billet. This flake that came off is razor sharp. You could butcher a whole animal with this. Let me show you how easily this cuts leather. No problem at all. I'll save these flakes and use them later. Starting to get a flaking pattern. As the blade gets thinner, I switch to a smaller antler billet. This should work nicely. This one just allows you to remove more precise flakes. This is a nice micro blade, very sharp. Nice, that helps the blade get thinner. So I'm gonna call this our finished Kerrville knife. We have our cortex out here, then a blade that has a flaking pattern. This fits nicely in the hand, and we even have a little divot right here that fits the thumb. So definitely a great chopping tool. Now I made this because I wanna see how this tool will work for butchering large animals. Hunting season is coming up. I'm gonna butcher a whole animal with just stone tools, and having a big chopping tool will definitely be a help. If you wanna learn more about the Kerrville knife and hand axes around the world, I'll put a link in the description below. So stay tuned for next Wednesday, we're gonna do another flint napping project 
And then later in the season, we're gonna see if this works for butchering big game animals such as deer, elk, and antelope. And look at all the material that came off of making this knife. A lot of time when you're out in the desert, you'll find flakes like this. These came from making tools. 